Welcome back to the channel, you kooks. So we've gotten this far and I figured I'd give you a rundown of our power system in this van. It's actually pretty sweet. So I'm gonna get into it and you guys like and subscribe, share this with a friend and let's get into it. Before we start, I just wanted to note there is gonna be a Van Kooks Masterclass teaching you guys how to build a van and step by step it's very helpful and we're still working on it depending on how long ago this video was made and what time in the future you are it could be done so check it out vancooks.com and it's going to be very helpful and we did that for you guys so you guys could just have an easier time building these vans so we're going to go through the power system in this van before we get into it there is a 600 watts of solar on the roof and we built a solar roof rack we're using unistrut and we did a really cool job with that so we have a video outlining that the plans and all that you're going to want to check that out that's at vancooks.com as well and i'll link the video but yeah check that out if you're trying to get solar panels on a ford transit i know it's not the easiest thing but this will help you a lot and it wasn't that expensive so now let's get into the power system starting here the solar comes in from outside and then we got a 60 amp a &L fuse and it goes into this switch which then goes into the MPPT charge controller and if you have this switch here you can actually turn the MPPT charge controller off and then I have the switch here for the battery so if you turn that off and that off it's going to kill the whole system if it's sunlight and you're getting power from solar and you just turn off the batteries the charge controller will still float all that power and it'll still all be running so it is nice to have the power off on the panel so you can actually shut the whole system down if you need so i got my 12 volt fuse box here the covers off because i was just kind of finishing things up that's a blue c uh, 12 volt fuse box I think it's pretty common everyone uses these. I got these on a 60 amp inline a &L fuse and everything kind of comes off the bus bar. So this is my positive bus bar and it's great to use the bus bar. It keeps everything a little more organized. So I got the bus bar and then the charge comes out of my charge controller here. It should be a red cable, but I ran out. It goes into another 60 amp fuse blade and that goes to my bus bar here. And then all these bus bars are just hooked up to the batteries here and that's all off of uh, this switch. And that's all connected to the batteries and this is a thick four gauge wire coming into the bus bar. So I have that hooked up to the bus bar. This is the uh, coming from the car battery so this charges while we drive this comes through 60 amp fuse and this comes all the way through around and up into the Renogy DC to DC charge controller this thing's awesome I highly recommend this especially if you are have lithium batteries and you're wanting to charge your car while driving off an alternator this thing's great it basically does it all and it's not much work. So I highly recommend this. This is probably the coolest thing in the van. And then one more thing we got here is off the positive bus bar, we have a lead, it comes through and it comes into a 250 amp fuse. That goes into my Ames uh, power inverter, 1200 watt. And then this is the inlet so or this is the out so power goes out i have a breaker here 15 amp breaker and that goes into my breaker box and that hooks up all the outlets and then all the outlets come out and i try to get all the proper stuff it's really hard getting electronic parts these days but i got all my outs coming out they run along and then they just go up into the wall and then here i just use this monster cable it's a uh, 12 gauge it has three 12 gauge stranded wires in there and this is just an old extension cord it's a really nice one and i'm just running that 
to my power inlet. So if I wanted to charge off shore power, I got it just right here. There you go. And I can charge if I'm if I ever have shore power off of this Ames power because it has the auto transfer built in. And this is pretty cool. I did wire all this. I have a video on how I wired this box. This is a midnight solar uh, breaker box and I got the 15 and 10 amp breakers in there. And this was a real fun project. I actually really enjoy doing all this. So all that's done and that's just kind of the van's power system. I figured I'd share it with you since we're sharing all of the other van build stuff. And then all my batteries I just have under this box and they have the lithium heat enabled battery which is pretty cool. So if it was cold and I wasn't getting a charge I can just turn on my lithium heat enabled batteries there. So that's it kooks. Thank you for watching. I'll get out of the sun so I can get a better shot. And if you're interested in how to build a van You've come this far. We have a van build masterclass on our website and it's going to help you do all this work, make a nice, clean, beautiful home. So I highly recommend checking that out and like and subscribe and we will see you kooks soon.